Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Stable Diffusion tutorial where in this one I'm going to show you how to use Dream Booth. The reason I'm making this tutorial even though it already exists is because the other ones are very complicated and they're out of date. So let me show you how to train your own models with Dream Booth. The only two things you're going to need is Dream Booth installed. If you don't have it, install it. And second of all, you're going to need a data set of images. So for me, I have that data set right here. Uh, it's images of my face. You can have it be images of somebody else's face, of a subject, like a, a can, a Coca-Cola can, or a style, a bunch of paintings. Either way, have a data set that we're going to use. These are 512 by 512 resolution images. To start, go to Dream Booth, go to Create Model. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to make a model, and then we need to give that model settings. So for the create model, I'm going to call it Tom Tutorial because my name's Tom and we're making a tutorial and it's going to be a 512 by 512 model. The first thing you need to understand is when we make a model, we append it to an existing one. We're going to use one that already exists and just kind of shove more data in there. So uh, for the source checkpoint, you can pick 1.5, 2.1 or any model that you already have. So I'm going to use 1.5. So we're going to make a new 1.5 check uh, checkpoint with this new data infused. Uh, once you have all that, you're going to hit create model. It's going to take a second. And as that happens, let me tell you about some of these settings. So right now it's just creating all the folders and directories and all this. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be picking a bunch of settings and you're going to see there's so many here. I'm just going to show you the important ones. Uh, that's going to let us generate without any errors. And then in the concepts, we're going to put in our data set and say what that data set is, etc. So uh, we can actually start filling this in right now. Uh, for settings, we have epochs. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly. That's like a set of training cycles, a number of iterations. Um, for every image, I have eight images. I'm going to set this to 150 epochs. So for each image, it's going to iterate 150 times and learn that image over and over and over again. Um, for this, it's fine. This, it's fine. This, it's fine. Uh, save preview frequency, I'm going to set that to zero. So normally it's going to spit out images every once in a while to show you is it doing well. It doesn't train as it does that, so it's going to take extra time. So I'm setting this to zero and also the save model frequency to zero. We only want it to save the checkpoint at the very end of training. Other than this, uh, these settings are fine, 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 and then go to advanced. This is where you, you got to pay attention because if you do not do this, you're going to get errors. For the optimizer, pick 8-bit Atom, mix precision, pick FP, I think that's floating point 16, and then pick Xformers. Make sure you have these three settings. I don't know if the Xformers is that important, but pick these three settings to make sure stuff works. Next, and we can save our settings, just click OK. Next, we need to actually bring in our concept. And you can use one of these presets here. I'm just going to bring in the data set uh, directly. So uh, navigate to the folder where you have your data set. And I'm just going to copy that address and paste it right here. And that's the data set we're going to train on. There is a way to do it with classification directory so I can compare it to images of a man. I don't need to do that. I just need to train it on a photo of me, photos of me. So here's our data set. For the instance prompt, type in something like a photo of Tom tutorial, okay? And what, what, what this is saying is we're saying the images that I'm providing are a photo of this token. So make sure this, whatever this is, let me just make it fancy. Let me make it like uh, THXB and let me write that in a notepad file so I remember THXB. It could be whatever you want, just pick a word that doesn't exist already. So photo of THXB person, that is what we have right here. Other than that, uh, we don't need to mess with any of these settings, I don't believe. So uh, once we save our settings, we can go to saving. Uh, you can enable half model, so it's going to make a lighter checkpoint with roughly the same amount of detail. You could do all that, um, but then you just hit train. And this is where you see if it crashes or not. I hope it doesn't crash. So uh, you can see right here, it's going to do a bunch of stuff. And now it's doing iterations. The reason it's doing 1,200 iterations is because we have eight images times 150 uh, iterations per image. So I'm just going to let this run. And then um, we'll 
check if it works, I guess. Okay, so just finished training, and the way we know that is the case is because it's done, but also if we go to the stable diffusion folder, and then we go inside, well, I guess I jumped the gun a little, you go inside models, and then you go inside stable diffusion, you're now going to see this Tom tutorial model. So we have all our checkpoints, and then we have this folder that is generated. Inside you can see we have a file that's like 7 gigabytes. Uh, to actually test if this works, though, I'm going to go to text to image. Uh, you're not going to see it on this list currently. We just need to refresh it. And here we have Tom tutorial. And if I remember correctly, we called it THXB. So that's our token to check if it's actually generating the right thing. So we're going to wait for this checkpoint to load. It's a big one, so it might take a second. THXB generate. And if this doesn't work, we need, we need to type a photo of THXB person. But you can see uh, this gives exactly a photo that looks like the ones we spat at it and it can do different angles and stuff like this. So now it's actually inside our uh, model. Uh, let's try doing some other stuff. So THXB as a painting, colorful 8K <laughs> Ultra HD. That's what we like. Let's see what that gives us. So there we go. It's a painting of me. You can tell it's the same subject, but now it's more like stylistically stylized. I think some of the some of this is going very hard on the 8K. Uh, but here we go. Painting of me. So uh, you can train not just a face, but you can train an object. You can train a style. Um, the process is the same, and you could just append it to the same checkpoint again and again and again as long as you remember your uh, token. So. There's your Dream Booth tutorial. I hope this was useful. And uh, if you want to support my channel, uh, there's a Patreon link in the description uh, where you can get access to tutorial files and stuff like this. So thank you for watching.